What's up guys, it's me on. I am back with another video and I am back with another NASCAR. Actually, it's a double NASCAR diecast review because these guys race for the same team. Although one of them is now in the Xfinity series. But still, same team! And that being Cole Custer and Chase Briscoe in their 2022 Darlington throwbacks. Custer for Haas tooling, Briscoe for the behind detractors from, of course the NASCAR Cup Series. So, with that being said, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams. And I'm going to go ahead and get these diecasts out of their boxes. Custom one. Wow! Okay, the Chase one came out pretty easily. Holy shit. So these are the stickers in case you're wondering, or in case you care. That one rolls. Oh no. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm going to put the Briscoe one here. Wait a minute. Okay, I thought for a second the Custer one wasn't rolling properly. We might be good. Okay, yes. We're good. So I figured because both of these guys are SHR guys, again, Custer is now back in the Xfinity series, but regardless, I figured double die cash of you. Why not? Um, again, these are on the PTC mold. I mentioned that last video. So I guess we'll just look at them one at a time first. Um, so I guess we'll start with Briscoe. And, you know, in terms of SHR as a whole this season in Cup, because Custer has gotten a few wins in Xfinity, um, which you love to see. But in terms of the Cup program, it, it's weird. It's just, it's just really weird the way that SHR has fallen off in recent years. Really ever since Kevin Harvick's insane season back in 2020. Uh, and I'm going to assume that's XS, that's S, XSD cowing there. Because that wheel well looks a little weird. It looks a little hype, more hyped up than... And you see, because like, oh, hell, even here it kind of looks a little off. Like, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, and my camera is, on my phone is not focusing enough. To, oh, there we go. So see, that's what it looks like on that side. And that's what it looks like on this side. And arguably, I don't think either side looks right. Because that's what it looks like on the right side on Custer's car. And then the left. Focus, damn it. There we go. So yeah, Custer's looks normal. Briscoe's does not. And also, Custer actually has kind of the yellow lettering on the Goodyear's rather than the white. Because I believe the white was is only done for the dog uh, for Darlington. So yeah, but as I was saying, like Briscoe, like the whole freaking the whole of SHR has been struggling this year. Even Kevin Harvick, who's probably been the best driver on the team this year in his final season, and maybe there's some correlation there, even he has been struggling at points in time. And then the other three, those being Priest, Briscoe, and Almirola, have straight up fucking struggled. Like, I think Harvick is the top guy in points that doesn't have a win so far this year. Um... And he's, ha he's been in position to win a couple of times. But, like, um, Almirola, Priest, Briscoe, it's it's just... Briscoe can literally qualify in, like, the top 10 or 15. And then, like, a handful of laps in, he's dropped all the way, like, outside the top 20. Or top 25, for that matter. Priest is stuck back there. Almirola's usually stuck back there. They're racing up against teams like freaking Legacy Motor Club, who... Coming off of what they did last year as Petty GMS, have not looked the same either. You know? And then you got guys like um, Cole Custer's been putting the 51 for uh, for Rick Ware. Some other guys have been putting the Rick Ware car. And in that car, there are times where it's outrunning one, two, or all th or three of the SHR cars not named Kevin Harvick. And the thing is, is that next year. With Harvick being gone, you now have Josh Berry taking over. 
Um, we don't know what Eric Almirola is going to do. And quite frankly, as long as he still has Smithfield branding, I don't think he's going anywhere. Um, but, like, it just it doesn't fucking make sense. And some would say, well, Ford as a whole is falling off. Yeah, that's honestly what it kind of looks like. Because, you know, because it almost kind of extends to Penske. Because, yes, Blaney has a win. Logano has a win. But, here's the thing. Outside of the wins and outside of top fives or top tens or what have you, Cindric himself, Cindric's been struggling. And Logano and Blaney, it's like they're good... It's either they're good or they're not. And by not, I don't mean like running in towards the back like these guys have been. Well, replace Priest for Custer. But like, it's like either they're winning or they're just there. And then you have uh, RFK, who, spoiler alert, that's the next review. But then you have RFK... And in their case, with both with Brad and Chris, is that they actually have speed. It's just inconsistent. But Brad's been close to winning a couple times this year. Chris has had some great runs at some points in time. Um, and then Rick Ware is Rick Ware. But it just doesn't fucking make sense how like I'm not saying that Ford is outright terrible or outright bad. They're just mid across the board with varying levels of set of success surrounding that mid. You know, if that makes any fucking sense. And I'm worried. To be honest with you, I think if I'm if I'm Gene Haas or whomever, I'm downsizing from four cars to three. Almarola, goodbye. I'm sorry, but goodbye. And it's nothing necessarily against him. Like people have pointed out how Wherever he's been in the Cup Series, he hasn't been... It's like, when he first came to SHR, he had like one or two years of good equipment before they fell off. When he was at Art Richard Petty Motorsports, they were not nearly as good as they used to be. But, I just think that, honestly, downsize back to three cars, because they used to be a three-car team. <gasps> Excuse me. Keep the four, put Barry in that. Keep the four team with Briscoe. And keep the 41 with Priest. Um, and you just go from there, really. I think that's that's honestly it. And if that doesn't work, then you might have to go down to two. And I'm sorry, Ryan, but you might have to go. Honestly, within the next couple years, I wouldn't be surprised if SHR downsizes from four cars to at least three, if not two. Keeps the four and the 14 as the flagship cars of the team. Maybe they make the 41 as sort of like an all-star car, kind of like how you have in the Xfinity series where you have drivers who will, from other series who will drive it. Um, and yeah, that might be what SHR is going to have to do. We'll see. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below. I will catch you all next time. Peace.